Hey there everyone, it's Candy V here and welcome to another episode of Lucky Dip Sunday. So, in today's episode I have three packs to add, being three of Boundaries Cross, which is a really, really cool set midway through Generation 5, but let's put them in the one, two, and three. So, I'm gonna go mix it up and then select today's three. So, today's three will be... What is this? Ancient Origins! I don't remember when I put this in because that was before I like dated them. But number two is... what is this? Ah! It's Mysterious Treasures! That's a really good one. And then number three is going to be none other than... Freaking EX Power Keepers! I don't know why, but somehow my hands are just drawn to the really old ones. I don't know. But here we are. And Psyduck is, yes again, the lucky plush because, I don't know, like the last two episodes, he has yet to fail me. Every single card, well, I mean, every single rare card that's come out of a pack with him in the episode, it's been good. I, I don't know why, but we're going to go in the order that we pulled them, funnily enough, being Ancient Origins, Mysterious Treasures, and then EX Power Keepers. So... Oh, uh, unfortunately that is my, um, my final generation 3 pack that's in the dip, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to work on getting another one of those soon. It's crazy, like, the moment that I put them in, I dip them out. I don't, I don't know why. I really don't. But in this pack, there's going to be Paint Troller, Aria Dose, Energy Recycler, Spinarak, Beldum, Wooper, Golurk, La Vesta, hey! <laughs> the side of the pack is good, I tell you. I tell you, like, stuff. Oh, I, I, I have no words. If I pull out a pack while Psyduck's here, it's gonna be good, okay? But the actual rare is good. Oh! What? I can't! A freaking full art septile! That is, like, the card that I wanted the most from the whole set. What? What even? You cannot be serious! Oh! This is probably like the rarest pull that I've ever even had from Lucky Dip. I've never had a full lot in Lucky Dip apart from like legendary treasures, but that doesn't really count. What? A freaking full lot? You cannot be serious! I, I have no words. No words. No words at all. Oh, how? 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 I, I don't know. Look, look at this. It's just Psyduck, okay? Psyduck is what gives me these pulls. I, I don't know how and I don't know why, but it, it just does. So, even if we get nothing out of those two, honestly, this makes the whole episode. I don't have it. It's probably my favorite full art from Ancient Origins. Maybe second to Curum. They're both just beautiful, but I can't believe I actually got one. Yes! But here we are. Mysterious Treasures. So, I believe the early generation four sets can be a... Uh, a little difficult to pull level X's from, so if we can get a level X from this with Psyduck here, then we know he's lucky. But even Hollow, I would be immensely grateful for. But pretty much like every card in this set that's, you know, not, well, well, a common or uncommon, I, I don't have, so it's all good. Uh, even most of the commons and uncommons, I don't. So anyway, Nidorina, Pupitar, Nidoran, female, uh, Seal, Gibble, Surskit. Shinx. Ooh, that's some really cute artwork. I like it. And then the reverse is Unknown M, I believe. Very nice. And then the actual rat is gonna be Pseudo Wudo Regular Rare. Are you freaking serious? I have like two regular rares from Mysterious Treasures and there are a lot of them. And this is like the only one I have. Wow. Psyduck, you're a dingus. But I, I, I forgive you because you gave me a Septile Full Art, so it's all good. The EX Power Cubers! Ugh, I can't bear to open it, but mmm. I'd say this one is a little more risky because I didn't get it in a seal product, so I, I highly doubt that we're gonna get anything from it, but you know, even getting to open up older cards is just really cool in itself, so it's all good. And the last time we opened up one of these, something really good was pulled out of it, so you never know, right? You never know. But there's Matang, Steven's Advice, Pikachu, that's some really cute artwork. There's Slackoth, uh, Charmander, Sfeel, Puchiana. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. I really, really do like um, Chinchow and um, Lantern, so that is a gorgeous pull. But then the actual rat is Armado Hollow. 
I had no, I just like butchered that. It's all moldo. Uh, but I guess those packs wouldn't wait. Huh. That's really, really weird. <laughs> I was totally expecting them to be, but hey. That is so cool. A freaking third gen holo. What is Psyduck's luck? What? Both of the EX Power Keepers packs have something good in them as well. That's so cool, but oh. Uh, Psyduck, you've done it again. You've done it again. So I suppose that Psyduck is pretty much gonna stay with us until we get like three regular rares because the look with this plush is just, it's insane. It is the lucky plush and it's the oldest one that I have. So it's like an original one, but still, oh my gosh, that's so cool. If I would have to um, pick a star card, it would of course be this Sceptail EX Full Art. This is probably the luckiest lucky dip I've ever had. I mean, apart from the Skarmory, that was really good, but rarity wise, probably the Sceptile EX jumps it, but there we go. Our Maldo Hollow, Bull Corona Reverse Rat, three poles out of three packs, so I guess you still gave us something good. And there's this really nice Chin Chow as well. I love this, but anyway, I'm laughing on a little bit too much, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!